The Girl God by Trista Hendren Illustrated by Elizabeth Sletness For Helene Clare, my beloved daughter Helene Clare is a magical girl who loves to play and laugh. From her very early years, she was full of life and adventure. Sometimes this got her into trouble. Helene's family seems very different than her friends' families. Her mommy is a Muslim, and her daddy is a Christian. To make matters worse, her parents do not live together anymore, and some people say her mom is pretty full of herself, which seems to be a very bad thing. Helene often wishes her family was just normal. Sometimes, Helene's mom seems very sad, and Helene wonders if maybe that is, somehow, her fault. But every day, her mom tells her, You are wonderful. You are amazing. You are magical. Do you know how much mommy loves you? Helene stretches her arms as wide as she possibly can and says, This much. Helene's mom says, Even more than that. I love you that much times infinity. But when she goes to the big church that her daddy attends, or her mommy's small mosque, she doesn't feel quite right. In fact, she feels confused. One day, Helene sneezes a big sneeze. Her mother said, Alhamdulillah. Then she asked Helene, Do you know what that means? No, she said. It means, thank you, God. When we sneeze, we say thank you to God for taking any bad thoughts out of us. In Arabic, we say, Alhamdulillah. Noticing that Helene still looked confused, her mother asked her, Do you feel God inside of you? Helene looked down, a little ashamed, and shook her head. No, I don't feel God. Maybe God is only for my big brother, she thought to herself. At church, they only say he for God. And in the mosque, the women sit in another room and have to cover their hair so they won't be a distraction. Her mother paused, noticing her sad face, and said, Maybe you have the girl God inside of you. Helene smiled a big, big smile. Yes, I feel the girl God in me. What do you suppose the girl God looks like? Her mom asked curiously. Like Grandma, Helene exclaimed joyously. Mom smiled. Maybe you are the girl God. Helene smirked. That could not be. How could she be the girl God? She was not like Moses or Jesus or Mohammed. She was not a he. But somewhere inside her, when no one was telling her how to act or what to do, she felt very powerful. Her mother told her, In the beginning, God was a woman. And I don't know anyone who was not born from a woman. Do you? In Hebrew, there is no gender for God. But when the Bible was translated into English by men, God became a man. Some Bibles now use language that is more inclusive. And in Islam, they threw out over 8,000 female scholars of the Hadith. Their words have now been uncovered are being published in over 40 volumes. Can you imagine how much our religion would change if we heard it through the mouths of women instead of only mostly men? Helene and her mom began to discover girl gods all around them. They learned about the many women who had done so much in all the world religions, only to be silenced or ridiculed or taken out of the important history books later. They figured those women must have been pretty powerful. And in learning that, both Helene and her mommy began to feel stronger and more powerful too. Helene and her mom soon decided that the girl god was in both of them. In fact, the girl god was in everyone. 
Can you find the girl God inside of you? Do you hear her voice? You are wonderful. You are amazing. You are magical. Do you know how much I love you? Stretch your arms as wide as you possibly can and say, This much. And if you listen very close, you will hear the girl God within you and around you say in her very big voice, I love you even more than that. I love you that much times infinity.